Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one, we are going to head back to Slovenia once again, and this is yet another beer that has come from the second coming of the Davor box. So a huge thank you to Davor Shiritz, who's a long-term follower of the channel, for making these Slovenian reviews possible. And also thank you to the guys at the brewery for providing him with this beer. So for this one, we are going to return to uh, Nova Gorica, which is of course home to Pivovarna Reservoir Dogs. So this one is called the Conqueror and it is their Session IPA, part of the Apocalypse series, coming in at 4.8% and it's quite highly rated. On rate beer it was high into the, the 80s and in uh, Untapped I think it had somewhere along the lines of like a 3.8, something like that. So it should be a very, very nice beer. I have been impressed with the IPAs that I've had from these guys before, particularly the Black IPA, the, the uh, Starvation, that was a really damn good beer. But at the other end of the spectrum these guys are also very good at the Imperial Stouts as well. The Batch 50 from these guys is a lovely, lovely beer. So yeah, if you get the chance to try some of these, I highly recommend that you do, and I'm hoping that this is another one that kind of follows in the same light as the other beers that I've had from them before. So anyway, as is usual with my reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my other reviews that I've done from Pivo Varna Reservoir Dogs before. There will be a couple more over the next little while. There's all the usual social media. If if you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography-based tagging system, so you can go into the homepage and search for beer based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the Slovenian beers that I'm reviewing for you. That's being added to whenever I get the opportunity. And as always, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Pivo Varna Reservoir Dogs then. So Reservoir Dogs was founded by four friends who basically hobby brewed in their spare time. This was Urosh Komal, who's a mathematician, Alosa Polensic, who was a neurologist, and Andrei Sluga, who was an economist, and also Matthew Bredsigar, who was an electrical engineer. But they say that they basically wanted to brew beer for themselves initially, and they learned much of their trade from reading blogs and articles and stuff like this on the internet. But their beers proved to be very very popular and their brewing kind of continued to expand in size. They decided to officially found a company back in 2014 and they started out as a contract brewer at the Hotel Gold Club in Ida Sheena but of course they're now based in Nova Gorica which is right on the border with Italy and very recently of course they've opened up their new brewery which has a tap room and a much larger capacity than before. So these guys are pumping out beer on a much larger scale than they have been previously at the moment. The other thing to note about this brewery, of course, is the name, which is uh, the uh, is after the Quentin Tarantino movie of the same name. I realise I've been saying, of course, in this particular video quite a lot, but these guys are um, a very, very good brewery in my experience. You know, they've got some great IPAs out there. As I said, their darker uh, beers tend to be very, very good as well in my experience, and this is one that Davor rates very, very highly too. So um, he's never steered me on to or a, you know, a bad beer before so very much looking forward to this one and we'll see how we get on with it but that's all you really need to know about the brewery just now if you want to learn a little bit more you can check out the brewery website that's in the description below and you can follow them on Facebook and uh, Instagram and that will keep you up to date with all the latest goings on there so um, yeah let's go on to the tasting of this one then as I mentioned earlier this one is part of their Apocalypse series a session IPA coming in at 4.8% and um, yeah Let's, I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork there. Really nice once again, you know, these the Reservoir Dog artwork is always pretty damn good. And there you can see here is the standard brewery bottle cap that they have. This, of course, is the Reservoir Dog symbol, which you can see up on the corner of the bottle there. So, yeah, really nicely presented beer, this one. So let's get it out and we'll get on with the tasting then. We can get rid of the brewery notes for this. So, yeah, here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the opening, and we'll get this out and into the glass. Oh, you can smell some of that lovely fruity quality coming off this beer already. So I'm curious to know whether they'll have used a little bit of Slovenian hops in this one. Um, Slovenia has its own really cracking... Um, 
hop industry at the moment, you know, they've got things like Celaya, they've got Bobek, they've got the Styrian Wolf and all of this sort of thing. And I'm thinking, just as I'm pouring this beer out, I think I've got a feeling there might be a little bit of mosaic in here. There's just something jumping out of this beer at me that screams mosaic. Um, lovely bit of orangey, tangerine and kind of blueberry sort of notes, which is what you always get with uh, mosaic. But yeah, this beer looks absolutely lovely. It's a very kind of... If I hold it up to the light, it's more of a yellowy orange, this one, rather than anything else. There's a solid two-thirds finger of a frothy, I would say perfect white head on this one. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass, and a few little ones just heading up towards the uh, the bottom of that head there. But, you know, overall, it looks very nice, but nothing overly surprising about this one, um, when you consider that it's a session IPA. If I put my um, fingers behind the glass there, you can see it is a nice, bright, kind of hazy beer this one. So let's take a closer look at the aroma and just see how we go on. Of course when I say hazy it is more a kind of west coast haze this one rather than um, a New England haze. You know it's not any of these kind of hop soup things or anything like that. But let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on with this one. Yeah that smells really nice. For me you've got a nice bit of a juicy kind of tangerine orange to this one. I do think that there's a I think there's a bit of mosaic in here. There could be a little touch of um, mango. I think maybe it's mosaic and citra that they've used in this one because it does have a little bit of that mango quality. It's got some of these lighter fruity complexities as well. You know, light cheese and and uh, blueberries like I'm saying. Maybe even a little touch of a, a gooseberry note or something like that. Um, but yeah, once you get more into the aroma, I think it's definitely a little bit more oily and orange. You've got some nice floral grassy aromatic notes to this beer as well which is really cool and um, yeah it's got a nice little bit of freshness to it and the malt base comes across really nicely as well. You've got a little bit of a bready quality in there, you've got some nice kind of sweet biscuity notes as well. Maybe a slightly richer caramel but it's more the, the kind of biscuity notes that you're getting out of this one remind me of the, the sort of almost corny syrup type stuff that you get from McVitie's digestive biscuits. It really Reminds me um, a little bit of that, actually, the aroma out of this beer. So, yeah, nice biscuity base, little touch of sweeter caramel in there, a smooth, sort of pale malty quality to it also, and some nice kind of floral and grassy elements to the hops, and maybe even a tiny little touch of earthiness, and again, that's making me wonder if they've used mosaic in here. But I think if I was guessing the aroma hops that they've used in this, I think I'm pretty certain there's a bit of mosaic in here. And I do wonder if there's a little touch of citra or something else. It could also be some like a little bit of galaxy or something. There is something in my mind that's saying there might be a little touch of passion fruit to this one. Um, and it's also got a little bit of an almost pineapple note. I think 100% mosaic and it could either be a bit of galaxy or maybe just a bit of citra. It's, mang it's got a mix. It could be all three right enough. I always like playing uh, Guess the Hops with this one. From what I remember, you know, the Styrian Wolf is a big melon hop. Celaya, um, I don't think that's quite as high in alpha acid as uh, some of the other ones. But as I always say, take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck into it. But let's have a taste of this one then. I'm very curious to see how their Session IPA turns out. So this one is the Conqueror, a Session IPA at 4.8% from Pivovarna Reservoir Dogs in Novogorica in Slovenia. Once again, a huge thank you to Davor for making this review possible and also thank you to the guys at the brewery for providing me, uh, providing Davor rather, with this beer. Let's get stuck in. Slanja, school, Nazdaravia. Oh yeah. Now I have to say, I do like this one. Um, you know, I, I don't drink that many session IPAs, but this one, there's just something about this beer that just, it, it just strikes a chord for me. You know, some of the other, um, I've always been impressed with the IPAs that these guys are doing, and one of the things I've always noticed about the Slovenian IPAs that I really quite like is they do have just this, they've got this very distinctive, slightly oily, fruity, juicy character to them. And I mean, that doesn't matter whether you go to people on a pellet on, whether you go to Lobic, whether you go to Reservoir Dogs or Tectonic or you know any of these other breweries, um, it really doesn't matter. They always these Slovenian IPAs always seem to have this really lovely, oily, juicy, fruity character to them, and this one comes across very nicely. The other thing I notice about Slovenian IPAs is that they always seem to just have that little bit of sweetness in the malt base to balance to to balance them out, and I really like that about them. And um, 
yeah, it really works um, very well with this beer. I just I like the way that this goes together. It's it's it, if you're comparing the sort of session IPAs, this one to me comes across as more of a West Coast type session IPA rather than a New England one or East Coast whatever. It's got that sweet malty base to it that I really really like, and I think that's one reason why I like the Slovenian beer so much. I have to admit, when it comes to all these IPAs and stuff that I've been reviewing, I really do miss the uh, the West Coast sweetness and bitterness. I really miss that balance that you get with these beers, and it's it's been dropped in favour of the more creamy qualities that you would expect of the um, the New England IPAs. But I think they've done a really nice job with this beer again, actually. You know, so thumbs up. To people who aren't a reservoir dogs, it's a session IPA. You're meant to be able to drink a few of them, and I can tell you straight away. You know, I never session beer anymore because for me, it's all about the tasting things. I love tasting different stuff. I mean, it's very rare when I go to the pub that I drink beer unless there's something quite special. But this is a beer that you could easily, you know, tan a few of. Not a problem at all. But yeah, so with this beer, then you can feel the middle of your palate. It's just blanketed with that nice sort of pale malty um, quality there. It's lovely and smooth. It's almost got a... I wonder if there's a little touch of Pilsner malt in here actually because the beer does have a nice little bit of crispness to it. You can feel a lovely little bit of a kind of biscuity sweetness in the middle of your palate too and there's a little bit of a slightly richer caramel in the very centre of your tongue too. This beer isn't doing anything particularly surprising but it's one of these ones where it's all about how the flavours blend together and um, you know it does it very well as I always say about countries that do wine very well they always tend to do very nice beers and quite well balanced beers at that so this malt base isn't anything particularly surprising but it's well done I think that's the best way to uh, to summarize this one but yeah I do like what they've done with this beer you know this could be one of my favorite ones actually that I've had on the lighter side of things from um, from Reservoir Dogs actually. I mean they do some cracking beers. Um, the Lone Wolf probably remains as my favourite IPA from um, from these guys. And that's you know that's an awesome awesome beer and, and particularly for the fact that it has a Slovenian hop in it so it's a Slovenian IPA. But this one to me is is very nice and very drinkable. You know, it's it actually reminds me of a beer I had very recently here in Sweden, which was the the fourteenth um fourteen thirteen break is it, which is a little tiny tiny brewery in Landskrona where I work here in the. Uh, in Sweden and that's they've got this lovely um session paleo which is called Lilulas and this one really reminds me of that actually um so it's quite funny actually when when you try different beers like this but this is really really nice um on the hoppy side of things then back corners of the palate you've got a nice little touch of earthiness in there and the thing that's really striking me about this is that the green side of the hops is almost a little bit noble and I do wonder if they've used maybe like a you know Bobek or something like that. I think they might have used a Slovenian hop as the, the bittering hop in this one um, because the Slovenian hops, the, the lower alpha acid ones in my mind, have always, like you've got Dana as well, um, you know, these lower alpha acid Slovenian hops, actually, they're very similar in flavour on the green side of things um, to the German noble hops. So you've got this lovely little bit of that almost noble earthiness to this one. As you come further forward, that smooths out a little bit, a little teeny bit of herbal quality there. But as you come further forward along the sides of the tongue, you get a nice, sort of slightly, um, you know, a sort of kind of bit of floral aromaticity there and then round the very front curve of the palate you've got a nice lighter grassiness and again this beer is coming across as, as quite noble in its, uh, its its hoppy qualities. It may well be I'm talking complete rubbish earlier when I said pardon me that there's a uh, mosaic in this one but I'm still getting a little bit of that from the flavour but the, this, I think the bittering hops in this are most definitely I think they are Slovenian if not German or something like that but it's, they've got a really nice balance there between the kind of nice light slightly sweet and crisp malt base and also the, the 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 way that the hops come out in this one this is another very very solid beer from these guys and you know in some I'm, I'm surprised that i like this beer as much as i do i guess um but at the same time i'm not surprised that these guys are capable of producing something like this you know yeah so on the fruity side of things then when you go behind the front curve of the palate, you get that little oily bubble where those juicy, fruity esters start to come out of the beer. And for me, again, like I was saying earlier, you get a nice tangerine orange quality to this one. I think there's a little touch of a, 
a, a kind of mangoey note or something like that in here. I do think there's a little touch of citra, but I think mainly um, mosaic coming out of this beer. Um, so yeah, lovely tangerine orange, you know, as you come kind of further forward on the palette, you get a little bit more of a slightly blueberry note, maybe a kind of lychee or something like this. A little bit of a, a kind of um, blueberry thing with that as well, as I was mentioning. Um, but yeah, th it's, this is a very straight up beer, but it's just, it's nicely balanced. This beer is definitely one of these ones where it's all about how these flavours kind of blend together so well. And I think I've said that about quite a few of these Slovenian IPAs from the different breweries, Tectonic, um, pellets on reservoir dogs lobic I think that's one of the things I've always said that for the, for me the real the thing that Slovenian brewers seem to do very very well is that the um, you know the 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 in human fish as well is the other one that comes to mind you know and um, they always seem to blend the flavors together really nicely and as I say you've got a little bit of these traits there always seems to be a bit of sweetness to the malt base and you've always got those lovely juicy fruits and this one has all of that this is a very very nice and very sessionable session IPA it's, it seems a bit of an idiotic thing to say but I think they've just pulled this beer off um, really really quite nicely it has that lovely German almost a, a almost German kind of uh, sweetness to it actually it's almost got a little bit of a pills quality to it it's got that pills drinkability but it has just the, the the sort of IPA sweetness and balance to it so yeah lovely lovely beer this one could it you know I don't think anything that I'm going to try from these guys would overtake the lone wolf um, in terms of being my favourite beer, um, but this is, you know, this is a, certainly a damn good one. I'll say that about this. Um, in terms of the mouthfeel, then mid-bodied beer carbonation is quite smooth, and this one's got a nice oily mouthfeel to it. But at the same time, you get a little bit of crispness here. As I was saying, I suspect there's a little bit of pills malt used in the malt base here. Yeah. I think there's a little touch of pills malt in here just to add to that crispness. But yeah, nice little bit of hoppy bitterness, maybe 40-ish IBUs, something like that. Um, malt base, as I said, has a nice smoothness to it, but it's also got a little bit of sweetness in the middle of the palate too. And you've also got a nice little bit of a juicy fruitiness in there. Like I was saying, I suspect there's mosaic in here, a little bit of an orangey um, sweetness to it. Maybe a little touch. It could well be a bit of Amarillo, actually, that's in this one. Because the orange, I'm noticing those tangerine oranges, they are starting to become a little bit more oily. It could be Amarillo that's in here, right enough. But um, yeah, it's it's a lovely beer, this, and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. It says it's a session IPA. It's a lovely example of a sort of West Coast style session IPA. So, I mean, have a go at this one for yourself and just uh, see what you think. I think they've done a really good job of this one again, and I'm not surprised. So let's leave it at that for this beer then. The Conqueror. Session IP at 4.8% from Pivovarna Reservoir Dogs in Novogorica in Western Slovenia. So once again, thank you to Davor for sending me this beer and to the guys at Reservoir Dogs for providing him with it. Thank you to you guys that are watching at home. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comments section below. Let me know what your favourite beers are from Reservoir Dogs as well. And I'm sure I'll return to these guys at some point in the near future. They're always pumping out different beers and it'd be very cool to, to try as many of those for you as I can. But thank you again for watching and I will catch you guys very soon. Make sure you check out my social media media make sure you try some of the beers from people on reservoir dogs and just try anything you can get your hands on from uh, slovenia because they're doing some awesome stuff down there at the moment slanja skull nazdravia